Hey guys, the Cardinal King here, and uh, today I wasn't planning on filming a video, but I have to be the bearer of bad news. Um, today I lost a little bit of my childhood, and I think we all did, right? Um, it's Thursday, July 7th, 2022, and Kazuchi Takahashi, the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! died today. And I'm going to show you guys a translation of the NHK article where they announced his death, and I'll allow you guys a couple of minutes to read that. Kazuchi Takahashi was 60 years old, and out of respect for his family and him, I won't speculate as to what his cause of death is. As of this recording, they don't know yet. They're still investigating, so I will not have any speculation on that part, right? Um, while he's not someone I knew personally, Mr. Takahashi did receive an Ink Pot Award at a Comic-Con panel that I attended. Um, and he, again, even though he wasn't someone I knew personally, he's touched my life in a lot of ways because Yu-Gi-Oh! is a big part of my life. Um, if you've only ever seen the American anime, you might think that he was only into card games, but the reality is, if you read the manga, he was super into every kind of game, right? Each manga chapter had, like, little cutouts of games that you can make and play with your friends, and I think maybe that was part of the ethos of the whole series, right? Is that he wanted you to interact with other human beings and help you understand what they're all about through games, which I think is a beautiful sentiment. Um, so, if you remember correctly, even the, uh... The series ended with like a giant tabletop game between Yugi and, and Yami Bakura, and I, I think he was most into tabletops, right? Um, so the most fitting tribute that I can give Mr. Takahashi is that um, just talking about how Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, has changed my life uh, on a personal level. I have a lot of personal memories of playing the game. Um, I would always play with my cousin, and it was a great way for us to bond. And this cousin in particular is someone I've been all over the world with, right? I've traveled the world with him. And some of my favorite memories with him are just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I remember the first tournament we ever went to was during the Metal Raiders era. And uh, we were super excited to go. And we were up all night, like, playing and, you know, subbing cards in and out. We didn't know what a side deck was. Because we were kids, you know? We were... Couldn't have been older than like eight or nine, ten. And uh, we went to this first tournament and we got wrecked, man. And that was back during uh, the... Everyone had vanilla monsters with high attack and Summon Skull was the greatest monster in the game, right? Um, and then I remember, you know, playing, you know, the first kind of competent real deck that I ever had was like a Warrior Toolbox deck with, you know, I had Fiber Jar in there and couple of other tech cards in there and um i remember i got him once or twice with that deck but then i remember i saw him pull a yada in the chaos emperor dragon out of packs and he just proceeded to wreck me with that deck until it got banned like i said to this day i have ptsd from that damn deck but um i also remember i went to my last tournament with him and i i don't remember what the event was but i remember we got exchange of the spirit as a promo card and you know he's someone who taught me how to play the game and i'm grateful for that and you know, some of the fondest memories with him are of playing the game. Um, I met a lot of friends, you know, in the schoolyard, being in middle school and whatnot, just playing the game during lunchtime. It was a lunchtime staple. A lot of people who are my age also remember doing that. Um, I remember in high school, you know, I met one of my best friends playing, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! We, we dueled after school one day, and uh, I remember he was still doing the, the high-level vanilla monsters, and I whooped them with that uh, that warrior toolbox deck, and I remember telling him like, "Hey, man, you gotta you gotta play some effect monsters in here. You know, it's it's not 2005 anymore. You know." And yeah, I I also remember that I um, I played my last duel against him too after before getting back into master duel and getting back into the game, and because I started the channel when I got back into the game, right? So it's been three months, but uh, before that, he was my last duel, and he was playing. Gladiator Beasts, and I was playing, you know, Monarchs, and you, you can see how much that, you know, mattered to me, because I still remember the decks we were even playing back then, right? And, yeah, I remember just, you know, teaching another friend how to play the game, you know, on his, the floor of his, you know, living room, um, you know, showing him how to, to build, you know, 
a deck out of three structure decks, which I believe was the uh, the one that Caius came into. These macrocosms to you know have him beat another a bunch of his other friends who had way bigger budgets. These guys were all playing Teledad decks. They weren't the best duelists of all time, so he he was able to take them. But I bonded with that friend a lot over that experience. Um, I remember in college, I, you know, a lot of friends I didn't even know were into Yu-Gi-Oh. We would get together, and um, I remember in particular one time after a New Year's Eve party, we got really drunk that night and we all woke up in the afternoon with super bad hangovers but um we went to a local faux place and we got some faux and uh we started riff tracking Yu-Gi-Oh! we started watching the the show and it was a lot of fun just to you know see how goofy it is as an adult but you still have some nostalgia for it right and it's still a part of who you are and a part of what makes you you and yeah i mean the Yu-Gi-Oh! changed my life for the better and um I'm sorry that this happened to uh, Kazuchi Takahashi. He, he was very young. He still had a lot of life to live. Um, he's unfortunately not going to come back home to his family. So if you do have family, if you have people that love you, it doesn't matter if they're related to you or not, go tell them you love them. Go give them a hug tonight, all right? And I'm going to end this one with a thumbs up. And thanks, guys.